Welcome back to Jim Morrison Total Laundry Channel. We're back in Satisfactory. And uh, today we're going to fix a little bit of uh, NG production. I've spent far too much time building a... Um, almost call it useless tower, but it does do one thing. It makes... Biomass out of wood and leaves and put it into solid biofuel. And I've also recently discovered photo mode, which I guess is pretty handy. <laughs> I'm definitely sold. I don't know <clears throat> how useful it really is to normal players, but. I think you understand why I think it's useful. Anyways, let us see here. Yes, we have that one there. So our electricity just died, which can be a problem. No, let's just burn these. Well, um, suppose we can just take them. Input, no, what are you doing? Input a little bit of them, and you get one batch too. Then we'll just start the production and maybe it survives a little while while we're gone. Oh no, these doesn't have any. It's easily fixed. Or fixed. Depends what you mean with fixed. Anyways, 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 let us walk over to our nice little forest and cut down some trees oh wait let's bring back some biofuel <laughs> i just realized that uh... no what are you doing there you go interesting so, oh, I learned a new thing. If you control click over something, then you'll move over everything, which was not what I wanted to do. Anyways, now let's head for the factory and the cement. Cement factory and then the forest, of course. Oh, and like, by the way, I've started to kind of give up on having more than three hearts of or three uh, health points over that. I don't need more than three health points. Do you know why? Because I fall down from towers all the time. I always fall down from towers. It's, uh, you know, it's really sad, but, oh no. In these situations, granted, it can be useful to have more than three health points. Wait, what? Never mind. Ah, there we go. Beautiful. <clears throat> In this situation, it can be very handy to more have more than three health points, but I just die too much. So, like, what do you do, really? Anyways. I'll well, suppose we stick in 100 of these and let it run a little while. Now why did I bring everything? That's a very, very good question. Let's try to sort this beast to see. That doesn't help too much. I guess I'll stick some reinforced plates in here. I don't need all this. Something like that. Oh, actually. Well, here we have our chainsaw anyways. Not a very big tree, but all the trees count. All right. That's a perfectly nice little cut. I don't know if I did try this last time, but can you cut these? 
No, you can't. It's kind of sad to cut down all of these trees, but you kind of need them. And they respawn too. Until we got in some cold production, you know, this is where we're at, basically. But at least it doesn't take you like too long time to gather. We already have 200 wood. And I do not know in my head exactly how much in terms of uh, biofuel, solid biofuel that is, but I think it's a good bit. I think we'll survive from it uh, a good while. Oh, fuck. What the heck is that orb? Here we go. Any more? No more friends. Anyways, are you dangerous? Pick up Mercer Sphere. Anyways, will it will it say something to us? Or will it just sound weird? It seems to have nothing to say. I strongly advise you to harvest this specimen. Strongly advise me to harvest this specimen. Well, that's not ominous. Anyways, we have still more to play. For a little chainsaw. I almost want to save these beautiful flowers. That's just an almost. What the hell is this? Something we can't cut down. <laughs> well, it doesn't attack us, so I'm happy. If it doesn't attack us, it could be much worse. Well, we definitely gotta see over our coal production or something. I know there is coal production because I've done that in another world, but haven't actually gotten that far, so it's a learning adventure. Alright, we still do have some space. Alright. And here is water too. Wait. Oh, are we full? We can't have any more leaves, that's for sure. And there we go. Oh. Oh no. Please let me collect. Not enough space. Damn <laughs> it. Sort. Will sorting help me? Sorting won't help me. Ah. Uh, no. sounds oh no that's us wrong no there it is I see it on the hill there scary thing well I do believe our current wood values will keep us going for a good while so let's have head back to the hub then stick them all in the factory. I don't think we'll need the uh, materials we uh, deposited over 
in that little box for a little while, so we'll just leave it there. We have everything important. Ooh. It almost feels uh, like I need to hunt these. The biomass they can offer me is quite significant. Ouch. Thank you. It is really significant, like 100 biomass per thing. Amazing. Well, 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 back at the factory. So, uh, let us, oh. Hmm. Let us indeed. This one goes to the wood. Yep. So let's stick in all control. Can we? Yes, we can control. That's pretty amazing. Okay, control the leaves. Very amazing. Oh, beautiful. Then we can just uh, head over to our little bench here. And. Oh! Let me see here. Do we need... Do we need some stuff? We don't need that for research. Medical inhaler. I think we'll need that too. Anyways. For the time of being, we might as well ma make 400 biomass with these. Very nice. We can then go into this. Look, we can... F we can force feed the outputs that's sadly the low tech way <laughs> we'll have to do this okay come on uh, here's my personal smelter force fed beautiful there we are anyways um all oh right i actually got 100 caterium in it and since I need, we'll need to make... Oh. That's for the research, never mind. Now I'm doing a lot of things at the same time. But, uh, well, I'll need more of it, sad. Anyways. We'll need to just look all around the layer, see if we can move around materials. One, that's depressing. 39. I use like 40. We'll just need to kind of divide things up a little bit so we can get production started. Because when we finally get our automatic production, we should easily be able to refill these in no time. How about you boys? You're kind of very full. How nice. Ah. Oh, and lords. You know, <laughs> you know this little... <laughs> I just can't help but think of it. Uh, especially now you can't really see the... Uh... Oh, let's see here. That's how to do it, right? Okay, you see the leaves over there? It's a really bad view. But anyways, the leaves, they go to these uh, biofuels. Really in the... Here you can see them better. Here you can see the biofuels. Biomass, I mean. <sighs> I'm very much against this kind of thing, but it kind of looked like weed or something so you have the you have the fresh leaves going into that and by that logic i mean you just gotta look at what are these are these like joints or something <laughs> very fat ones <clears throat> um joke aside we have collected a uh, smart platings i believe and oh, I already... Where did I put the last smart platings? Did I put them somewhere or... No. Maybe they're still in the factory. 
I don't know if smart plating is like... Holy shit, these boys is making smart plating still. I don't know if that's a good or bad thing. You then, smart... Okay, you're on offline at least, that's a good, a good thing. I do know we need more of flames, frames, not flames. Reinforced plate. Yes. Come on. No. No. Ah, there you have it. I think we are going to disassemble this little apparatus for the time of being. And we're going to drag the uh, these pieces straight in there. And now you should be making reinforced <coughs> no modular flames because I apparently need 100 of these. So let it. Actually, maybe we had a good setup before. Logistics. Let's set it back up, actually. My bad. Where are you? Thank you. Now something died. Kind of expected, but there we go. You go there. Yes, now rods should be split. And you can start making modular flames as well, since they take so long time to do. Well, let's see how much our little production has managed to uh, put together. 220. Well, it's not that whole fast. Twenty, one hundred. Okay, you get fifty. <laughs> this is <clears throat> very uneven. Fifty. There you go. Now oh, you can make some more for me. Well, let us shoot up our first space elevator fun. Now we have too many, but what the hell? Resealed. How does it look when it's sealed? I don't know. Like it doesn't look anything. Ah, the package is sealed. Well, bye bye, my boy. It took a real long time to make these reinforced plates, but. Ha, ah, got a nice screenshot of that even. <laughs> I don't know why I'm collecting screenshots. <clears throat> it's not like I'm going to look at them. But <laughs> and there we have it. We sent away our first little thing. And now, this greedy bastard, 500? Are you kidding me? That's insane. Versatile framework? What even is that? Well, whatever. Hopefully we should be able to upgrade some things at the hub now. <clears throat> Anyways, um, what can we research then? It's steel for that. Raspberries. I think I have to. No, I think maybe I used them up in tortured and experiments, who knows. <clears throat> Miss Ciela. All right, let's... Color gun, I can definitely unlock color gun. Unfortunately, we just need to run over to the warehouse where we got our stuff. 
Aha! Oh lords, we're kind of too full there. It's not good since then it's not creating it. Standby? Stupid thing. Are you also standing by? You're not good. Ah. But I guess now the electricity might drop any time. You never know. Anyways. <clears throat> I need to check my box solar in case you never know what you store in them. Alright. Corrigan, that was what we're supposed to research. Beautiful. Takes five minutes. That's a lot of time. Hmm. I don't know. I'm just happy that I have a vertical factory. Like, it's kind of normal, I suppose, in this game to make vertical factories, but I'm just very happy with this compact little thing. And this smelter is just, of course, my little freeform smelter. I just place it there because I wanted to have an uh, easy to command smelter. And this tower is com completely unnecessary. This steel tower beside it is just there for aesthetics and uh, in quotation marks, structural support. Anyways, we have now unlocked coal power. And we can like almost even like instantly unlock this thing. We just need to take a quick little, little run and pick up some cables. Ich. We might as well take from these boxes that are standing here full and <clears throat> just generally being sad. <laughs> Can't really move a full container. We need some real cool stuff to do that, which we don't have. Anyways, milestone. Have them all. <clears throat> nice. Milestone reached. I kind of want to ride this thing. Alternative power source to biomass and can be fully automated if provided water with the new pipeline buildings and power throughout the initial setup. Coal has been added hmm? to the resource scanner. Cool. Note, ensure the close proximity of water to the coal production line. Note, pumps will aid in vertical transport of fluids through pipes. Note, throughput and volume indicators are added to each pipe section automatically. Advanced stuff. So I just got this little idea here. It's completely stupid, but I'm going to place a little watchtower here so that next time we might be able to actually catch a ride, if you know what I mean. That That's the plan anyways. Right. Um, so I suppose we can now scan for coal. Hmm. Well done. Thousand meters this direction, thousand meter this direction. So we have two sources there, one source here. Hmm. That's pretty far though. I suppose we should uh, set up some stuff like that very soonish. But I do believe that uh, we'll look a little bit at that next time. Anyways, we can we can select this milestone, but we'll need to uh, wait a little bit for it to return. Well, 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 I think this is a good place to end with the electricity going, uh, but at least we have 200 more, so we can at least refill the electricity, but let me do that. Have a very nice time in the meantime, and... Uh, like this, yes. <laughs> have a very nice time in the meantime, and um, I'll see you next time. This is Jim Odessa from Total Murder Channel, signing out.